Let's walk through how to print using Google Chrome in Design and Print Online. In the Preview and Print screen, we can see a view of our entire sheet. To start printing, we'll click on Get PDF to Print on the right side. Next, we'll be prompted to save our design to our account. Once saved, we'll see our Printing Tips window. Make sure to read the steps carefully. Once we select the Open PDF button, the project will open in a separate browser window. Now we'll click the printer icon in the upper right side and make sure that our printer is selected. Next, we'll select more settings to set the correct paper size for our product and to make sure that the scale is set to 100%. If we select print using system dialog, we can see our preferences or properties. From here, we can select a thicker paper or a different media type and set the printer quality to a high setting. These options can vary by printer make and model, so check with your printer manufacturer for more information. As a test, we recommend printing on a blank piece of paper first. Once we've printed out a test sheet, we can place it behind the labels and hold them up to the light. If the top left and bottom right labels are aligned, that's a good sign that the rest of the labels will be aligned as well. If the design looks aligned, we can insert our Avery product into the printer and repeat the print steps. In case your project did not print as expected, here are some basic troubleshooting techniques. It is best to use only genuine Avery products with Design and Print Online as these templates were created to fit our exact specifications. You will also want to be sure that the design template number matches the product you are using. You can find the product number on the front of your package. Unfortunately, slight variances can appear each time a printer feeds a sheet of paper. If your project is off to the left, right, up or down, under Show Print Options, you can find Adjust Print Alignment on the Preview and Print page to shift your template by certain amounts. However, just remember that the settings you choose will be saved for your project, so make sure to zero out any values you entered when you switch to a different product or printer. For best results, we would recommend following these general guidelines. Try to print one sheet at a time. If available, use your printer's manual feed tray to provide the most accurate results. Make sure that the paper guides fit the sheet snugly. If you are using the regular paper tray, it's best to insert a small stack of about 20 sheets of plain paper below the label or card sheet to help your printer feed the sheet through. If you need additional help with Avery Design and Print Online, visit avery.com help for more information and to contact our care team. Thank you for using genuine Avery products.